What's going on? It's your boy. Um, uh, if anybody knows me, you know that I am a Kobe Bryant fan. Been a Kobe Bryant fan since '96, since Kobe came into the league. So, um, here this past weekend, Kobe um, passed Michael Jordan in points. And, you know, there has been a lot of debate about who's greater. You know, some people hate Kobe because, you know, they say he stole Mike's game or this, that, and the third. Or they hate Kobe because he's a ball hog. Or they hate Kobe because he's arrogant. They hate Kobe for whatever reason. And I was thinking today, and something came across my mind. It was really funny. How... When I was a kid, one of the most popular songs it was was Got to be like Mike, be like Mike, like Mike, I could be like Mike. And then one of the, the biggest commercials was um, uh, Spike Lee's, uh, you know, it's the shoes. It must be the shoes. Is it the shoes? No. It might be. No. And Spike is like, it's got to be, you know. And it seems as though. Out of all of the players of that, of young kids of that era, Kobe being one of them, um, and even players that came along during the time Mike was still playing, Kobe Bryant uh, being one of them, um, he was the only one to become like Mike in more ways than one. Now, does Kobe have all of these stats Michael Jordan has? No. He doesn't have all the MVPs. He doesn't have um, all of the rings. He doesn't have, you know, some of the other accolades that Michael Jordan has. You know, Kobe Bryant may never get there. But Kobe Bryant, I wouldn't necessarily go as far as to say the second coming. But I would say... Kobe Bryant is the closest thing to being like Mike that we're ever going to see. And Kobe has done things that no player, and in certain cases, including Michael Jordan, has done. Why? Kobe's focus, his desire, his willingness, his unquenching thirst to win sets him apart and in some cases sets him apart even from Michael Jordan. So what's the point here? Is the point, you know, we should look at Kobe Bryant as better than Michael Jordan or look at Michael Jordan as better than Kobe Bryant or, you know, still say Kobe could He's never going to be Mike. He's never going to do this or he's never going to do that. You know, Kobe's still a ball hog. He's still arrogant. You know, let's, yeah, Kobe may be all of those things. He may be none of those things. But at the end of the day, we can take some important information from the example of Kobe Bryant. And that is... If you set the bar for yourself high enough and you follow the role model of someone who is looked at as the greatest of his generation or the greatest of all time, if you set that marker or you grasp that image and you take it and you follow the blueprint that has been laid before you by that person. If you work hard enough, you can achieve it. We have to remember, too, at the time that Kobe Bryant came into the league, which is in 96, that Michael Jordan had only won. I think maybe he had four championships at the time, I think, 91. The 92 season, 93, 94, and I think Mike retired for two years. That 96 season, I don't think Mike won, 97, 97. Three to four championships around the time Kobe Bryant came into the league. 
But Kobe Bryant idolized Michael Jordan. Kobe Bryant's uh, desire, his focus, his will to win, his the blueprint for what he wanted to accomplish in his life, the roots of that is the image of Michael Jordan, is the I gotta be like Mike. So what I'm trying to say is basically instead of us debating over whether or not who's great or who's not great or why this person's this or why that person's that, let's turn our attention less upon the adversarial two things and let's look at what has made both those players both of those both of them great. And one and two or however many you want to come up with is their willingness to put in the hard work, the determination, the focus, the relentlessness. They set a goal and they reached it. And one thing, uh it's a quote that I learned today, you know, crazy, like I said, I've been on learning quotes here recently. Uh Winston Churchill said Never give up on something that you think about every day. And when you think about whatever you're thinking about every day, and it comes, there's another quote from a movie, actually, from um, uh, the movie with Whoopi Goldberg. I can't think of the name of it off the top of my head. With the nun. It's the second one, the one with Lauren Hill in it. And, you know, Lauren Hill is, you know, she's a teenager and she's, upset at her mom because her mom won't let her be a singer and Whoopi Goldberg tells Lauren Hill in the movie um, girl if you wake up every day and all you can think about is singing you're supposed to be a singer girl and it sounds so cliche or it sounds so whatever but in truth if you wake up every day and all you can think about is baking pies you might need to be a pie maker if you wake up every day and all you think about is art you may need to be an artist. If you wake up every day and all you can think about is writing a book or writing a script or even making music, if that's what you're thinking about every day and that's all that, all you ever think about, then possibly, maybe, with hard work, determination, setting goals, and striving every day to accomplish those goals, you can more than likely accomplish that goal, which is what Kobe Bryant did. He set his goal. And his goal was to be like the greatest player he had ever seen. And not only did he reach the goal, but in some cases, he passed it. Deuces.